back and welcome back to another Walgreens video. In this video, I have a total of two, well actually three transactions to share with you. I did quite a few transactions. However, um, most of them are just repeat of the same deal. But two transactions that we're really going to be focusing on that I'm going to walk you guys through. Um, and then the other transaction, I'll quickly go over what I did and why I did it, the way I did it, etc., etc. Nonetheless, the two transactions I did worked out perfectly, and I had absolutely the best time just putting it together. I love the challenge of putting deals together at Walgreens, figuring out how to pay the least amount of cash out of pocket, and then still getting back store money in return. So those two were just really fun transactions. However, if I wasn't so focused on being hashtag greedy this week, I would have waited until I seen the ad for next week's deals and would have waited to do these deals because the coupons that we have in these products will still be on sale and promotion next week and would have been perfect for the beauty event. That's what I get for being hashtag greedy. Nonetheless, I made money from it this week, so I'm not going to complain about it. Come next week, figure out how to go about working up some deals with these products and working with what we have on coupons. Anyways, they turned out absolutely great. Again, I just had fun doing them. I was in store getting my last little bit of um, the Tide and all that stuff and grabbing a few snack items for my um, sister. And I was like, hey, you know what? I got these other coupons. Let me figure out how to utilize them. And I did. And it came out really, really sweet. But again, I wish I would have just held on to them coupons a little bit longer because next week for beauty would have been so much sweeter. I may have, anyways, I'm rambling now. I have to go and dig in the back of my binder to see whether or not I have any more of these coupons or dig somewhere in the um, the overflow daycare space. So I'll get into what the coupon is and all that in just a second. Um, what I want to, let me see, there's some details I need to go over. You know what, we're gonna just go over the details as we go through the transaction as it'll be easier for you guys to follow along with me on what I did, why I did it, how it worked and all of that stuff there. These deals are pretty straightforward. Anyone can do it if you have the coupons, of course. If you don't have the exact same coupons, but you have different value coupons, you can still do the deal. Just rework the numbers as it will suit you um, and what coupons and all that that you have. So I'm gonna stop rambling. Let's go ahead and get into the transactions. All right, so transaction on repeat was the tie deal. There are $4.99 this week, and when you buy three, you get a $5 register reward back. We have digital coupons for $2 off the pod and $2 off the liquid, and then we also have insert coupons from the June P&G. So what I did in this transaction is that I picked up three of the Tide products, and I picked up one of the Ajax, just building up my transaction. That way I can roll the most in-store money and, of course, pay the least amount of cash out of pocket. So let's look at the receipt. Now hopefully you can see the receipt. It is pretty bright at this store. They were running out of ink apparently. So my subtotal was $10.46 with tax $11.32. I utilized 10,000 in points and paid $1.32 cash out of pocket. And I did get back the $5 register reward for buying three of the Tide. Now I just did that transaction on repeat on all of my cards here. So exact same math and I received back the $5 register reward. All right, now let's get into these two transactions, which by far was just the best. Now a quick FYI on the tie deal. I did this deal first because I needed the $5 register reward to use on this transaction here. And then of course I did the tie deal because it is a great deal this week. It is giving us back a $5 register reward. That $5 reward I will be able to use on other deals this week or save it to roll into deals for next week. So I'm using one form of currency, which is points, to earn register rewards, which I'm going to take to earn more points. So again, with Walgreens, the deals are literally just unlimited. You can keep going for as much as you really want to when it comes to Walgreens deals. So using points here to pay, earning a register reward. Register reward is going to be used to pay here 
and earn points and we just keep that going okay so again i did this on one account and then i went ahead and did the exact same transaction on other accounts that way i'm always paying the least amount of cash out of pocket because i have multiple accounts that means i have multiple digital coupons that means i have multiple balances if you will or multiple walgreens savings accounts if you will between accounts so i hope that makes sense all right this transaction here a huge thank you to crystal she is a friend of the community here she actually instagrammed me last week letting me know about the high value coupon that we had available from one of the recent beauty bags it is on the copper tone glow now she did a similar deal last week that she had instagrammed me and i never got around to um looking i looked at her deal but never got around to doing the deal or looking for the coupons until this week so thank you so very much crystal because honestly those coupons were not like on my mind or on, even on my radar i have a bad habit with those beauty event bags i won't lie i kind of just throw them all in a pile that's labeled for donation gifts whatever and sometimes i forget to actually clear the bags out so nonetheless I had three of the coupons in the back of my binder. So again, thank you, Crystal. Now I will throw a picture of the coupon up for you so that you can see which one it is. I think it came from the May's beauty bag or maybe June's. Honestly, I don't remember guys, but go and check wherever you would have put those bags or your coupons to see if you have them. Now this week we have Copper Tone Orange Sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. On promotion but when you spend 15 you get 5,000 points back so what I did is picked up two of the copper tone glow now let me let me go over a little air or a little issue I ran into with the copper tone glow all right so a little FYI on this product here now this is a new product line at Walgreens. It is not scanning automatically when the cashier goes to scan it. It actually said something like UPC not found or not available or something of that nature. Nonetheless, not an issue. All they gotta do is type in the barcode. Once they type in the barcode, the product pulls up. It pulls up for the correct price, which is $10.99. And it also pulls up for the promotion, which is or the sale price, which is buy one, get one 50% off. And then it does qualify for the promotion, which is spend 15 and you get 5,000 points back. Now it was tagged in both of my stores. So they had a tag for it, but for whatever reason, the product has not been entered into the system. This happens quite often anytime there is a new product line new packaging with products, the barcode change. If it doesn't get put into the system, it won't ring up. Again, not an issue to simply have them type in the barcode, product comes up for the correct price, as well as the um, promotion, buy one, get one 50% off, and then spend 15, get 5,000 points. My concern at that point when it was not scanning and she was gonna to have to type it in, was whether or not these coupons would work. Well, they did, so happy about that. Coupon scan with no issues. Coupon scan with no issues. So again, they're not scanning automatically. Cashier has to type in the barcode. Once she does that, the product will pull up, pulls up for the correct price, and it does qualify for the spend promotion and the coupon scan with no issues. So we're good to go with All that. All right, so now we know how to proceed if you decide to pick up these same products. And especially if you have a cashier that likes to act like they're brand new, just tell them to type in the barcode. So with the copper tone, they're on sale, buy one, get one half off. On promotion, but when you spend 15, you get 5,000 points. Now, just like with buy deals, you can buy multiple in a transaction and you will get points back on each qualifying set that you buy. With a spend deal, you can spend x twice in a transaction three times in a transaction or four times in a transaction and so on and you will get points back for each qualifying spin you complete let me break that down again is spin 15 get 5,000 points
So for these two here, subtotal is $16.48. I have purchased $15 worth of product with just these two. I will get back 5,000 points. Same thing here, subtotal $16.48. I have purchased $15 in product with just these two, so I will get back 5,000 points. I'm doing it in the same transaction, and I'm going to get back 10,000 points total, okay? 5,000 here and 5,000 there. Now, on top of this promotion on these Pacific products, I'm stacking it with the in-ad perk for spend 25, get 5,000 points back. I also had a paper spend perk that prints from the Catalina machine for spend 30, get 7,000 points. So I am stacking three different spend deals together. One is a spend deal on Pacific products, the Copper Tone, and then the other two are spend perks. For the weekly in-app perk, I am using the digital version. Remember, two paper perks giving you money back will not stack. A digital and a paper will. All right, so let's look at the receipt. So everything rung up correctly. Now I used that Soap and Glory as my filler item. They were on clearance for 49 cents. And Soap and Glory is on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. So 49 cents for one and then 24 cents for the other. I needed that as filler items for my registrable boards to attach to. So where you see it says point coupon 30. That again is the paper spin perk that prints from the Catalina machine. It was spin 30 and you get 7,000 points back. My two $7 coupons for the Copper Tone came off. I used a insert coupon for $5 off two on the Copper Tone Sport. I used two $5 registrable boards from the Tide deal and one $4 registrable board that printed from the Old Spice deal. Subtotal was 69 cents. I had no tax on this transaction and I believe that's because the sunscreen lotion is falling underneath the flexible spending account and there's no tax there. On points, I got back a total of 27,000 in points. Again, 5,000 for the weekly in ad perk, 7,000 for the paper perk, and 10,000 for completing the copper tone promotion twice. And then I also hit beauty on this transaction. So a total of 27,000 in points coming back. And again, I paid 69 cent cash out of pocket. Now, the points earned will pay for a lot of toilet paper and cleaning supplies and probably more laundry detergent and so on. All right, let's hop into this transaction. All right, so on this transaction here, I went ahead and added an additional product, building up my transaction. That way I can go ahead and roll in points to pay and still get points back. I made sure to pick up product that had high value coupons, and then of course picking up product that would allow me to roll in register rewards without having to roll in additional filler items. Now. I'm going to show you a picture of the coupons I use. You guys know how sometimes we get those random manufactured Catalina coupons. And I should say random, they print at random, but they're for actual products. So I had one for $5 off two of the Almay, and then one for $5 off two on the Revlon. And again, I'll throw a picture of that on the screen for you in a second. Now in that picture, you will see this paper spin booster. I did not use this, okay? I did not use it. My original thought was to use this. And simply being because the way I'm programmed, I guess, to shop, is if I'm going to have to actually pay any cash out of pocket, if I got to pull out a dollar, I want to get as much product for that dollar as possible. I want to get as much um, store money back for that dollar as possible. So my go-to, my default, is to throw in whatever I can that I could get money back on. So I had this in mind to use. And honestly, when I got to the register, we rung up everything, scanned all coupons, including this. Then she went to hit payment. I said, oh, I want to use points to pay. And as soon as I said that to myself, myself said, girl, you can't use points if you're using this. You need to get that back. 
So again, I use points and I told the cashier, let me get that back because it's not going to work with points. So again, these don't work if you use points to pay, okay? So you're going to see the picture showing you these two coupons. This is in that picture. I did not use this. I scanned it with the thought process of using it because I'm going to have to pay a high cash out of pocket. So I want to get more money back. But then once I scanned it and then once I hit, you know, she hit payment, I'm like, let me use points. And I realized, oh, wait, you can't use that. So get it back. So, yeah, sometimes my mind don't be working. All right. So this is what went down. So we already know the price on everything else. These are deals that we have been doing all week. On the rep line, they are 50% off. These here are $4.99, half off $2.49. The Alme is 40% off, so they were $3.59 for both of those. So let's look at the receipt. There is the Copper Tone Lotion, the Rev Line, and then the Garnier Fruities, and then the Alme. The porous liners, and again, the $4 IVC comes off, making sure after that IVC coupon comes off, I'm still at my required spend amount for not only the weekly in-ad spend perk, but also for the um, Copper Tone Promotion Spend 15, get the 5,000 points. So after our coupons, I did roll in a four, I rolled in two $4 register rewards, and that was from the Old Spice or Gillette deal this week. The first two $5 coupons that you see, that was for the Revlon and the Almain. Subtotal $21.85 with tax $22.65. I used 20,000 in points, paying $2.65 cash out of pocket. That really hurt my feelings. Let's look at the points here. And we got back a total of 20,000 in points. So we got back 5,000 for the weekly perk. We got back 10,000 for the copper tone. And we got back 5,000 for Henny Beauty again. And as you can clearly see, this is all on the same account. See here, see here, same account, okay? Now, of course, in between these transactions, I did other transactions and all that good stuff there. So one more time for the receipt. Everything run up correctly. And again, those first two $5 coupons was the Almay and the Rep Line. That was the um, coupons that printed from the Catalina machine way back when. My porous um, liners, the Copper Tones, $7 off one. Garnier Fruities, $5 off two for the Copper Tone Sport. And I used two $4 register rewards. And then I wrote in 20,000 in points. Paying $2.65 cash out of pocket. And then let's look at the points once more. And this is not me bragging. For those of you that be having an issue with people showing their points and receipts and all that other stuff, this is me showing you how this works. So there you go there, 20,000 in points. All right, guys. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. I had a really good time. All right, guys, so again, I had a fun time putting those two transactions together, spending the least amount of cash out of pocket, and then getting money back on top of that. Again, I wish I would have kept those coupons for next week for the beauty event. Hopefully, I can find more tucked somewhere where I got some coupons at in the crate. I got some in a bag. I kind of got coupons all over the place that so I need to be cleaning out, but hopefully, I can find more of those coupons. I'm actually hoping to go by one of my locations that have a beauty consultant to see if she happens to have any of those coupons. Fingers crossed because next week for the beauty deal, there will be a very sweet, sweet um, product to put in with those high value coupons. Nonetheless, there's some other information I wanna go over with you guys in regards to both of these transactions and just kind of share my, um, my thought process on them. I'll come back and do that in a separate video and that way we can kind of just chit chat and open a discussion in the comments of a separate video on my thoughts with how I put these transactions together, products that we got, and all of that stuff there. But for now, thank you so very much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, guys, happy keep running.